Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from One Day Saving. Uh, so I have a diamond painting, a special diamond painting and then an off the canvas as I like to call it item. So let's start with the diamond painting. Uh, I've seen recently quite a lot of sort of stained glass type diamond paintings um, and they, they don't half catch my eye they really really do this one is not a full stained glass but it is like it has sort of a frame of it um, and yeah it just really caught my eye as a really pretty picture um, it's a 30 by 30 it is in round and it has 21 different colours. Now the diamond painting area itself is 25 by 25 centimetres so a little bit smaller but the colours are gorgeous so you do get a toolkit um, and I don't know whether it's the fact that it was surrounded by what looks like glass that caught me because those stained glass ones are catching my eye all the time um, and they do have a good selection of those too um, but we've got some really pretty colours in this one we do have some darker 310 but we've got, we've got some gorgeous bright colours to mix in with those darker ones um, though most of the dark ones sort of make up the outside rather than the inside picture I mean look at those blues beautiful beautiful colors um, so that is the first one I'm trying to see if I can actually get it to fold back up the way it was uh, I find if I take a step back and let it sort of hang I can often get hold of it in the right way to pop them back after having a nosy not always though uh, so that is the diamond painting that I chose I then chose a special diamond painting so this is a partial um, but again it's just absolutely beautiful it's another 30 by 30 and if I just go from the outside edges of the image because it is a partial and it fills it pretty well uh, again it is 25 by 25 uh, but such a pretty little teacup uh, you basically you put diamonds around the flowers and the leaves coming out of the teapot but then we also do the deck, sorry, not teapot, teacup. Uh, then we also decorate the flowers on the teacup and saucer and do the edging around the teacup and saucer. There is a few different styles of diamonds. You do get a toolkit. So the styles for this one. Oh, so number one, I actually thought that the outlines here would potentially be the silver or the clear, but they're not. They're like creamy yellow. So you get that nice creamy look that, to be fair, the teacup does have. Uh, then we have your standard rhinestones. We have red, beautiful greens, yellow, pink. Then we have your bigger ones in purple. They actually make up the petals on these flowers up the top. Uh, then we have number eight, which is B. Okay, so these big gold ones do the centers of some of these flowers. So they're the big centers. Then we have some in green, which again, make up the rest of sort of the buds so you use the purple for the flowers or ones that are starting to flower and then these are the buds they're also the leaves on a couple of these on the actual sort of on the teacup and around and then oh they're pretty uh, so these are like an added detail. These are ones that remind me of little buttons that you'd put on kids' cardigans. Um, they appear 
all the way around the inside of the handle, also the bottom of the cup, and then they are spread about. It's the letter D uh, on a few of the different flowers. A little, just a little extra touch. Um, but no, that is a very pretty, very, very pretty, like iridescent star coated diamond. So they're a good, fun diamond painting that can be completed quite a bit quicker than these, but still give you a really nice impact. So we've got that special. And then I did get an off the canvas. I did go for some key rings this time. Um, there are so many beautiful designs that are coming out all the time, even though we have seen key rings before. And these caught my eye because these are pretty little butterflies. They are double sided uh, and you do get a hole in them for popping your key ring through. But I just thought they were so sweet because they're all different colours. Actually, if I turn them that way, no. Oh, so the numbers are actually backwards no matter which way you look at them. So the number two, you can see the number two that's black is actually backwards. But on both sides, it's backwards. I think something went wrong there. Uh, but yeah, we have these gorgeous coloured butterflies. I mean, the number two is the black. Apart from that, you can you can figure out which ones they are according to the colours. But yeah, it's weird that they are backwards. It's like they're mirrored, but on both sides. But for the actual colours themselves, we do have what looks like some basic 310 to give you the outlines uh, but then we have some clear ones these just appear in different places on each butterfly but then we have the green uh, we have a teal blue we have another type of blue or two types of blue now, the only thing is, it doesn't actually tell me what numbers these are. So I think you're actually going to have to guesstimate which numbers are which colours. We have two different types of purple. So I would put those with those two, but then you would have to figure out which one is which symbol. Uh, then we have some orange, some yellow, some red and two different pinks. So this is the number four and this is the number three, which means that number three also goes over here. Um, number eight is actually on there, but when it gets to the likes of the letter A and F and C, D and E, it doesn't tell you. So unless... So number eight is there, number nine... Is a pinky colour and I'm not seeing a number nine so maybe nine is the letter A which would suit it would fit on that butterfly so I think number 10 is actually letter C 11 is D and 12 is E okay so beautiful key rings but you have a mirror image on these ones and you have to puzzle it out as to what colour is what. It does actually make sense to follow the numbers and then follow the alphabet, but it will just take a minute just for you to sort of figure out that that's what it is that they want you to do. But the numbers one through to eight do match. It's after you get above eight, it changes to letters and the bags actually don't have the letters on them. So do bear that in mind if you get these, uh, but say you can figure it out. Could be entertaining. Maybe I won't pass these on to a young child, but maybe I'd pass them on to, to one that can figure things out figure out both the backwards letters and which way they go but you do get this sort of ball chain um, that you can of course loop together 
and then you also get your keyring attachment. So you thread your keyring attachment on, loop this ball chain through the hook, and there you go. You have yourself a key ring. Um, and once you've covered up these edges with diamonds, you won't be able to tell that the leathers are backwards. So there you go, an entertaining off the canvas one for you today for a little bit different. Um, and then we have, of course, a special diamond painting and a round 30 by 30 diamond painting. Uh, there is great prices on all of these, um, which means every now and then you do have some sort of hiccups. Um, but for the pricing, they're really, really good. So I'll pop links to these, each individual ones down below. Um, and thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.